vulture. These birds are nature's grim cleanup crew. They have grotesque yet fascinating traits. Like what? Well, they're big. They're found all over the world except for Australia and Antarctica. And they have keen eyesight and smell, which they use to locate corpses from miles away. New world vultures like the Andean condor and old world vultures like the griffin are not closely related, but they do share bald or sparsely feathered heads, which is perfect for diving into rotting flesh without getting, you know, too dirty. Their stomachs are acid vats with a pH near one, which helps neutralize bacteria like anthrax or cholera. So vultures are kind of like the heroes of ecosystems, you know, the ones who get rid of diseases by eating up the dead animals. The vulture has a really cool trick. It can smell this gas, ethyl mercaptan, which is released by decaying meat, and it can smell it from over a mile up. Some vultures, like the bearded vulture, will eat bones. They'll drop them from a height to crack them open and eat the marrow inside. Vultures are social birds. They like to roost in large groups and communicate with each other using hisses, grunts, or wing flaps. To cool off or deter threats, they'll projectile vomit their foul-smelling stomach contents or pee on their legs. This is called urohydrosis. With their huge wingspans, up to 10 feet in the Andean condor, vultures can soar effortlessly on thermals and sometimes fly for hours without flapping their wings. So even though vultures are creepy, they're actually really important for preventing the spread of disease and recycling nutrients. And 16 out of the 23 species are endangered or vulnerable, mostly due to poisoning and habitat loss.